Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanNether.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to root the Infinix Heart Note smartphone. Well, if you don't know about the routing, routing is a process to get the uh, root level access of your Android smartphone. And uh, routing let you do lots of uh, interesting stuff on your device like you can take the, um, you can record the screen of your device, you can install lots of special applications which are available only for rooted devices. So, if you are going to root your device, it, it's, uh, uh, you can utilize the full potential of your Android smartphone. But the only problem with this process is that most of the uh, cell phone manufacturers, if you root your smartphone, they just, it just avoids the warranty and you cannot uh, go to the customer care and you can give your phone back to the customer care guys and have some uh, get some assistance from them they will say okay this device is rooted so we will not help you out so if you're going to use this method to root your infinix hot note everything is up to you guys <laughs> i'm just going to tell you the process and method of how to root the device here so here is our infinix hot note as you can see and if you go inside here let me show you this device is not rooted at all here is an application called root checker basic let me focus on it okay so this application we can use to check whether our device is rooted or not so you can see the moment i have opened this it's showing sorry root access is not properly installed on this device our uh, current device is infinix x551 that is our infinix hot node so let me show you how to root the device now first of all you will have to download and install a software on your uh, PC or laptop. So what you have to do, you have to go to this URL, as you can see here, that is mgyun slash en slash get iroot. As you can see here, iroot is the name of the software. So just go to this URL here, sorry. That is mgyun.com slash en slash get iroot. After that, click here on the download and download the exe file. After that, install the application on your um, laptop or PC. Once the application, the iroot application is installed on your device, just open it. For example, I have already opened this application here uh, to save time for you guys and as you can see here it's showing connecting your phone now via usb cable and usb debug should be enabled so what is this usb debug it is an option available in the developer options under the settings so first of all go to the settings here go to the settings then go to all scroll down scroll down and have a look on the developer options if this option is not uh, available in your infinix hot node then just watch this video to enable the developer option on your infinix hot note smartphone once it is available in your phone once it is enabled then just go inside it and here you will find the usb debugging option just tap on it to turn it on here is the confirmation do it okay now USB debugging is enabled on your Infinix Hot Note, and now we have to connect the uh, phone with USB cable using USB cable to this laptop. So here is the USB cable which I'm going to use. Okay. Okay, so you can see on the screen the application is started and it is recognizing the device right now also on the mobile you will get this confirmation just tap on ok now it's installing the driver for your phone 
if you get any no notification once again then just tap on okay keep giving the confirmation Okay, so as you can see, it's showing here that Infinix X551 is connected now. Uh, there is no root permission for this device. So uh, the process is very easy. As you can see, here is the root button. Just click on this and wait for a few seconds. So rooting is started now. If you look at your device, it will look like this because the application is running on Infinix Hotnote as well and it's rooting the device. Let's put it down here and let's have a look. So it will take some time, so you can just wait and watch. And in this process, chances are that your device will uh, restart multiple times. Switch on and switch on by itself. As you can see here, it's restarting here. So there's nothing to worry about, just this is the usual process you have to wait. So once again it's rooting now as you can see on the screen and the rooting is finished as you can see infinix x551 root success uh, succeed so let's just click on this complete button there are a few features available here in this software right root you can flash some roms there is still assist flashlight ringtone some application and all if you want you can go through it but let's not waste our time on this click on the complete and let's have a look once again here what it's going to show it's showing uh, root permission it's checking right now so you can see here infinix x551 has root permissions so our infinix hot note is rooted now so here is our device let's remove the data cable and just remove it randomly and what we're going to do here is let's go back and we are going to open the same application where it is that's the root checker basic to check whether our device is rooted or not so here you will see once again here it's coming verify root status just tap on this and let's see uh, here it's asking for the permission just grant the permission and congratulations root access is properly installed on this device so this is the method guys to uh, root the infinix hot not a smartphone so now you can do lots of stuff if you go to the app drawer you will find that there is there you will find few new application installed uh, this is the super user as you can see you need this application uh, each time you use any application which needs the root permission so super user will provide the permission to this application for example let me see if we got something here okay Okay, so these are all inbuilt application. Uh, right now, I'm not having any application to show you the uh, setup of uh, our super user application. But whenever you will use any uh, app which needs the root permission, 
uh, super user will show a pop-up window on the screen and it will uh, ask for your permission so all you have to do is just grant it and that's all so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos and hands-on reviews tips and tricks have a nice day